31, I had a question coming out of section 9.1, number 49. And here we were given a recursive relationship. And we were asked to find the first five terms. And we're going to graph it. So it looks like my starting value is 2. And I say recursive because you can see that our current term, a sub n, is defined in terms of a previous term, a sub n minus 1. All right, so let's head over here. If I'm on my calculator, the first thing I need to do is make sure my function is in, I mean, my calculator, excuse me, is in sequence mode. And if you haven't switched it over to sequence mode, or maybe you've been switching back and forth, no problem. Just hit that mode button and make sure that sequence is active. So go ahead and hit enter over sequence. And then when you do that, when you head to your y equals, um, you won't see y1, y2, so on and so forth. You see this, this n situation, or u sub n. At least our first sequence will be u sub n. You can see you can graph a second sequence with b's, then a w. You have a couple of sequences you can graph, but we only need to graph one. All right, so the first thing we need to adjust is our starting point. By default, the calculator will put this at 1. We want to put it at 2 because, again, if we look back, right, a sub 2 was 2. Now, the next thing I want to do is mess with this formula. It looks like the last function or the last sequence I graphed was n factorial, which is great. It just isn't this problem. So let me clear this out, and I'm going to type in our function. Now, your book uses a for the, the letter of the sequence, and you can see over on your calculator they're using u here. And like I said, if you graphed a second or third sequence, they would go to v or w. So I need to make sure I'm using the u when I'm in my calculator. But let's copy this over. It looks like we have negative, and then we need a sub n minus 1. So I need u sub n minus 1. And the u that we're looking for, you can see it right here over your 7 key, but it's in blue. So let me hit u. All right. And your calculator doesn't have a subscript built into it like um, handwritten notation does. We put it in parentheses. So this is u sub n minus 1. And it looks like plus 1. Close that parentheses and then square it. All right. So there's my function built in, or not my function so much. Well, I mean, in the one hand, it is a function, but my sequence, my recursive sequence is built in. So I'm going to hit zoom 6 to begin to graph this thing. And I can kind of see it in there. But let me go just adjust my window a little bit so it looks better. Um, so it looks like my x min to max is 1 to 10. I'm just going to adjust this to 5, only because it asks for just the first five terms of the sequence, not the first 10. And if I remember looking at it, I didn't really need the um, left half of the x-axis, right? I just saw my, my terms on the right half. So I'm going to go just from, I think, 0 to 5. I'm going to try that for right now. And let me hit graph and see how that's looking. So that's looking a little better. The other thing, if I want to make it even better, I don't really need this, this area down here. It just doesn't look like I need all of that. So let me go adjust my Y's. So I think I should go from like, we'll go from like negative one, oops, negative one to maybe five. Let's try that for my graph. That's looking a little bit better. Now let me trace this and see what we're getting. It looks like the first term in our sequence was 1. OK, I'm in agreement there. Next term was 1 also. I'd have to check it out. Um, and then it looks like we go to 0, and then back up to 1, and then back down to 0. OK, so that looks like it's my sequence as I'm playing out. Now, I did actually crunch those numbers. And I, it does look like I go from 1 to 0 to 1 to 0. Oh, so maybe I have this nice alternating um, sequence. So I should say I start at 2. And one zero one zero, and and I have those ordered pairs plotted out. But anyways, that's that's how you do it on your calculator. Make sure you're in sequence mode, get the right sequence formula plugged in, and then adjust your window. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.